ver se quando nós quiséssemos, ou seja, quando está a acontecer o alarme. Sorry, Kevin, I was just explaining. The... No problem. Your, your Portuguese is much better than mine, so. Okay, next, let's go to. Eu falo português um pouco. All right, let's turn off the camera feeds here. So the next um, bit of information I want to show is the integration of information like power and water consumption, as well as uh, other information. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ma uh, calendar and I'm going to put us back into 2008. So this is information we got on specific buildings in downtown Seattle. So if I turn on the power, cons power usage, then these bars represent, the vertical height of the bars represents the amount of power consumption in any particular building. I can touch and hold a building, put my finger on that, and I get more information, right, that I can resize and I can share and, uh, around that particular information. But what's interesting is, if I take this now and I play this over time, and maybe I add temperature, now I can start to correlate information. You use that here. You okay. use Celsius, okay. right? There we go, yes. yes. Now that I've moved to London, I'm also okay. partly metric. We still have miles an hour, but we uh, have Celsius. So whether so power is one or maybe water as well. So this ability to just do, help with the analysis here by having more uh, um, visual data representation here um, and being able to uh, access that information. Isto uh, basicamente é, é, é uma plataforma que nos permite olhar para a informação e interagir com a informação de maneiras diferentes que nós não estamos habituados, ou seja, e, e de algum modo é, é mais simples e, e mais intuitivo de trabalhar com a mesma. É claro que o que está por detrás, ou seja, todos estes dados, tem que estar assente em, em, algum, em, em algum, tem que residir em algum local, tem que ser tratados de maneira a poder integrar e a fazer todas estas, estas aplicações de análise e, e de, de análise de negócio. So, so another example, we took water uh, quality information here and we wanted to analyze the quality of water and be able to drill down into that information to show contaminants in the water. So in this case, maybe looking at lead contaminants here in different buildings in the, in, in the city, or if I wanted to drill down to another level and look at how does, how does Seattle compare to other cities in the state, um, or even go up one level again and say how does Washington state compare to other states in the U.S. So just this ability to drill down, whether it's copper, lead, fluoride, you know, different information, and being able to directly interact with that information just with your hands, right? So very simple, very easy, very intuitive. Uh, we can also take information like uh, crime, crime information, and being able to, to touch, hold, maybe tap and flip and get other information from a crime perspective. And let's see what else we have here. What about uh, planning? Uh, All right, so let's go to Dubai. Okay. So we opened up an office in Dubai a year ago. I haven't had a chance to go there yet. But uh, with some of the imagery, as you may know, uh, it, it may be uh, a little bit dated and new buildings may have been constructed since the period of time or there may be buildings that are being proposed that you want to highlight or integrate into that map. So in this case, what we've done is we have modeled some of the buildings that exist in Dubai as well as one of the one, uh, new buildings that's being proposed. So it takes a second. It's going to load up these buildings here that are currently uh, uh, in, uh, in Dubai. And we're going to get one additional building, and I'm going to be able to navigate inside of that building. So we've taken the CAD drawings for that. So just give that a second. It's loading up. So this particular building here, if I touch and hold on this building, then it's going to load up the CAD drawings, uh, and we've modeled the interior of the building. So if this is a new project, uh, or for public safety reasons, maybe this is a resort that's being built, or a real estate property that's being sold, now if I go over to the magic window and I go into that window, I can actually navigate room by room within that building and use the same navigation, look around the room, look up, look down, right? So just another example of business intelligence information or data that we're integrating in that has that mapping interface into it. Okay. So, okay. Uh, Kevin, uh, and about more applications in the integration with the data from from Ezra, for instance, uh, you... Yeah, so we can integrate any data. So um, ESRI, Esri is a fantastic partner, um, incredible amount of data, as we've seen from the presentation before. Any of that information can be integrated. There's now you know, a very good synergy between Virtual Earth and uh, ESRI, as ESRI as well. Um, and then having this multi-user, multi-touch platform, talking about different multimodal inputs, whether it's a multi-point touch TV, I think this is a two-point touch, 
Uh, this month, actually, uh, Touch TV is coming out with a five-point touch uh, device as well. Then we've got different devices that give us different options. This may be used internally within the organization in order to do analysis on the information, but we're seeing a lot of interest as well in taking this platform, which is a very solid platform, and putting that in the lobby of a building so that constituents or citizens or clients can actually get access to some, some of the information as well projects that the government is doing, uh, proposed uh, um, you know, uh, projects that uh, organizations may be doing, and allowing the users themselves to integrate with that. Now, one particular application, if you want, um, who's familiar with the Super Bowl? That's American football. It's not near as, yeah. <laughs> so we did this in, partner with a company, uh, in partnership with a company called East Bonder and Twisted Pair. Um, and there, you can, there's videos on YouTube and other places as well. So basically, uh, what we're going to do is go to the Raymond James Stadium. Again, I've got the, the buttons on the top. They can be a quick uh, jump into the particular locations here. And what I want to do is look at, because the event uh, already happened, I'm going to pull up from a SharePoint site um, a number of events that occurred. And again, just using my hands to interact with the data here, each of these are incidents that occurred within, within the Super Bowl. So I can take this information, I can make it, I can scroll through that information so it can be any amount of content from that perspective, right? I can look around and get different perspectives of the stadium. Again, very natural, very intuitive in order to be able to use that. So it gave the instant commander a really good uh, perspective on what was going on at the Super Bowl there. And just to show other areas, so we could go to the airport and look at incidents that were occurring within the airport. Similar, there was an incident there. or where the players were staying at the hotels, right? So different things that we could show from that perspective. All right, so let's go back to the stadium. And then just showing another, we can have multiple overlays. So um, Esri provides all kinds of information and overlays. In this case, why don't we look at the uh, game day? And what we've done here then is you've got the actual event and you've got the, the, um, the area around it, but you don't know what's going on in, the, in, in those particular areas. So here we've got an overlay that says, for example, the NBC Broadcast Stadium was here. Um, what do we else? We have the NFL experience, you know, certain parties that were going on. Um, in this case, we have the truck exit, right? So just showing these overlays on top of Virtual Earth here, again, but with a natural user interface into that data, to be able to allow us to look at the events, the incidents, as well as particular things that are happening. And then one final thing just to show, you know, it's just modeling, for example, w with the incidents, a tour of Tampa. So here we are in downtown Tampa, and you can see the incidents on the map. It's just, just going to run through, a proceed, uh, run through basically a fly-through around the environment. Then we're going to go over to the stadium, showing the incidents there on the stadium. So you're getting it from a different perspective. Then we're going to go to the airport, I think, next. And then finally, just look at an overall view. So really just wanted to give you a sneak preview of Microsoft Surface, Virtual Earth, and the integration of you know, data from Esri and, and other sources, and how we can put that all together with a natural user interface that basically is really easy and really intuitive to use. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. So 